almost just fell. I don't know if you could tell. Probably can't tell. It's snowing like crazy here. This is the first time ever in West Texas that they've issued a blizzard warning. It's through snow all over my Tahoe. Um, I go back to work tonight. So I'm coming out here to see Yeah, it's not gonna start. It's what I assumed, but I figured I'd come out here and give it a try. But it's like 13 degrees. Um, actual weather and the feels like was negative zero about an hour ago and it's only gotten colder. So give me one second. We're gonna have to jump start my truck. So bad news, my truck, my personal truck won't even start. This is so cold outside right now. I usually use this one to start my Tahoe when my Tahoe won't start. That Tahoe, because of all the electronics and everything that's in there, after four or five days or so of not being started, just won't start, battery will die. I usually, if I remember, will go out there, start it up one day, just to make sure that doesn't happen. It's been too cold, Julia was sick, didn't do it. So I was like, well, I'll just use my truck. That obviously didn't work, so. Now we got to go get Lisa's car, which I don't know is going to be the best idea because our garage or our driveway is slanted and once her car gets out, it's going to slide down on all the ice and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it back in. So this is going to be fun. My hands are freezing right now and it kind of hurts to move them obviously I'm not used to this kind of cold but I got the truck started it didn't take very long I'm gonna take everything apart leave this running so that it can warm up the frost because I got to go work here in a minute tonight's gonna be interesting weather has sparked emergency declarations in several states across the country. The Arctic blast is pounding states from coast to coast with heavy snow, freezing rain, ice, and some of the coldest temperatures seen in years. Final day of work. Let's we'll check this out real quick. That one has a collar on it. Um, it's my third and final day at work for this week. It has been super cold, at least for Texas. Um, I know a lot of you guys that are from up north and stuff. This is nothing to you guys, but for us here in Texas, we don't get snow like this. We don't get ice like this. Um, the view is beautiful. You guys can see all of that. There's no guardrail, so you just got to really be careful driving on this icy road so you don't slide into the lake. There's actually a dog out walking on the lake right now. But it's been crazy. We've been with no power for a day and a half, almost two days now. My mother-in-law doesn't have any power. 
luckily my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law have power so we went and stayed with them last night so i got off work at three in the morning went home shower changed had to jump start my personal truck because the battery was dead because it's so cold let that warm up then drove out here to their house out here at the lake um stayed the night hung out during the day i still don't have power so now i'm gonna go back home shower change at my house with no power just because that's where i put all my gear um, and then go back to work for the night but tonight is my early night so i'm really hoping that it's a decent night i don't want to jinx myself but it's a decent night i get off on time everything works out and i can just kind of relax and then ride this out until our power comes back on because that's our biggest thing right now is with no power it's just horrible and if it was just me and lisa it wouldn't be a huge deal but with julia in the house have a one-year-old in the house with no power it's just not gonna happen so we stocked up on groceries today at my sister-in-law's house so that way all of us being there for the for the day or for the time being uh, hopefully we won't run out of food or anything but that's the plan for the day Almost, almost, almost is filled.